Hello and welcome back to the Demis Helen channel. This video we're going to take a look at Freeze Reverb and we're going to be using ROM for this demonstration. You can use any other reverb that supports Freeze including Supermassive but keep your eyes open for that video and I'll show you how to do it in there because there isn't a dedicated Freeze button. And we're going to be looking at how to record that in Cubase that freeze reverb into a separate track and then be able to process that. We're not going to look at the processing in particular in this video just on how to do the process of recording it into a new audio track. And just before we get started if you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe if you think this video earns your subscription and if you have anything to add or any questions about what you see in today's video please ask them down in the comments. And with that said Let's get started. Here we are in the project. I'm going to copy over my melody. This is my melody section here. And that is how it sounds. All the reverb is coming from the synth at the moment, but we're going to use ROM in this case. We can use a multitude of different reverbs to create this freeze effect. I'm just going to show you how to quickly do this in Cubase, just using ROM and obviously the freeze button here. So the first thing that I want to do is just chop some of the lows out and I'm going to turn the mix up full. I'm going to increase the diffusion, I'm going to increase the size and I'm going to also increase the reverb time. Don't really need to increase the reverb decay but I'm going to do it for the demonstration here. So now we have that effect and it's just going to keep going and going and going decaying down. So turn that down so it stops and it's just so we get the absolute maximum out of this we're going to now play this over and over and hold freeze and if we just press pause you can see ROM is going to continue to just push that reverb and it's not going to stop it's just going to continue forever until we unfreeze it and turn this down so we obviously stop the decay so what, how do we record that back in? Well, we can simply just create a group and we'll call this freeze on there. Perfecto. And we just route this through. So if I bring the mixer on screen, we're just going to say this lead, which is, I think it's this one, it's June 3. I'm going to send this directly into freeze so not into the leads bus for now i'm going to send it to freeze so that's that channel sent and um, we can just get rid of the mixer and what we're going to do now is be able to set up an audio track and we'll call this freeze record just so we can see exactly what it's doing so we have the freeze group which this synth is feeding into and then this freeze record is going to record what comes out of the group track so let's unsolo that and that and what we need to do is click on the audio track and here in freeze record if we just click at the top here we can see that we have an input and it's a stereo in so if you're going to be recording your mic or anything else that's where it will go so we're going to choose freeze and that is the freeze group so we can't choose as you can see individual tracks we can't see the june 3 we can't see the dco we can't see the arp we can't see the kick and the hats or anything in there apart from what are in groups so choosing freeze is now going to input all of that data straight into the audio track and we can record it so let's just record four bars i'm just going to extend it to five and let's just get this going so we can go back here open rom hit freeze, start it playing, hit freeze, and what we can do is click on here, make sure it's audio activated, just hit record, you can see it is now recording all of that, I'll just record four bars. There we are, unfreeze that. Perfect. So now we can just simply go back to here, turn off ROM because we don't want that on there. We'll just go in here and select remove, select track, and it'll say, do you really want to remove it? Yes, we do. And we're just left with the freeze record audio channel. And don't forget, back on your mixer, set your output to leads or wherever it's going on your mixer. So you've got everything back to how it was. And if we just remove this, let's have a listen.
we are left with the audio recording of the freeze reverb and we've created some ambience straight off the bat. So let's put this in here. Let's just see what it sounds like. Let's just mute the ARP for now. You can see it's adding tons. It's, it's not balanced into the mix yet, but it's adding tons of extra texture in there. Great for a little bit of background ambience. So on the inserts of this track, Let's give it a different color so we can see it. it's pink. I'm just going to put a Pro R, uh, a Pro Q3, sorry, onto here. Let's have a look at how this sounds. So I'm going to roll some off. I don't want it to have too much low detail left in there. It's got a bit of a roll off. I'm just going to tame the higher end a little bit more. And that sounds great. So what can we do with this? We can stick, say, LFO tool on here and let make a little bit of a side chain. It's going to bring the mix of that volume down. That will do. And finally, we can add some reverb on top of this. So again, let's just use ROM. And we're going to take out some of the lows. Let's just have the decay somewhere around three seconds or something. Diffusion size up a little bit. We turn the modulation off and let's have a listen. I'm just going to have this a little bit longer. Let's make it five, six seconds. There. So now when it starts to repeat, we're not going to hear that jump from obviously the end point of there. And what I'm going to do is just make a smidge there of a roll off on that and then when we loop it we're going to have a little bit of extra overlapping but what we're going to do is duplicate that track so we've got two freeze records and that little uh, roll off that we just did will be applied to the end even though we've moved it and we've got a bit of an overlap there now so if we actually bring that back to the start of the bar and bring that up to there we'll get a nice little seamless transition there and it'll just continue forever without any clicks or pops there we are totally seamless and it will continue forever and we can do the same with this one so it's preset ready so then when we copy this over this one will do it now because just at the beginning i'm not going to do it there because that's where it first starts but that now will continue and continue until you want it to stop So we've just created some freeze verb and that is some nice background audio. So let's have a listen to this and mix it in just a smidge more. And you can see the two channels here. So I'm going to bring that down to minus four. So little tip, if you have to go any quieter than say this position here, the mixer values get a little bit tighter together. You can see they're a lot more spread apart, but it's really hard to balance your mix with your faders so low to the bottom of your fader position. And that is where we'd use the gain instead or a gain plugin to increase the gain on the output of the previous plugin. So like ROM, if we open this up, doesn't have any sort of gain function. Just click here. No, definitely no gain function. So what we can do is just load in, let's say a free gain from Hoffer. And if it's too quiet, we can just say increase. Let's just say we want to increase this by six decibels. That'll increase it by six. Which will bring the volume up and then we have a little bit more room to maneuver with these faders. So just a little tip there. Don't go too low because it's going to be really difficult to start mixing things together. So for now, I'm just going to leave that off because I'm happy with that. Now we're going to send these to a bus. So I'm going to select these two tracks so they're highlighted and then we can choose add group channels to selected channels. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to say this group is called Atmos. And now we can see we've got an Atmos fader group and these are both attached to Atmos. They've already been automatically routed for the way that we've done it. And if we go into here, we can just drag Atmos to the bottom. So that way on the mixer, we will have the two Atmos tracks and then the mixer track. So essentially our group channel for those two. 
perfect. And now from here, we can add our own inserts into these two tracks without having to do it on both tracks individually and try and match and balance them up. We can just increase the gain of both, increase the reverb on both if we want to. So we'll call these Atmos Verb 1. And if you hold shift on the keyboard, it will rename the track for you as well. And we'll call this Atmos Verb 1 and there so there we are so now they're going into atmos verb as a mixer channel we can add some more reverb on here so let's just say we want to add valhalla supermassive and we can do freeze reverb on here as well not many people know that you can do that so maybe in a future video we'll cover that and i'm just going to pick a reverb a large and splashy synth i'm going to roll out the lows to about sort of like 600 700 And that adds some lovely texture on there. I'm going to bring the feed back down a little bit, bring the mix down. That should do. And then we can shove that through sort of many different things. I like to shove it through an SPL just to get some of the crispiness on the top, but without really pushing it too far. Just brings a little bit of crispiness into it and stops you overdoing it. And that's added that to both tracks there. And then once that's mixed, so I'm going to fade this in. And I'll take the Atmos for this section away. So you can see that works really nicely, adds some nice texture, but when this synth actually fades in and opens the filter, this one doesn't do anything because obviously it's a freeze recording of the filter closed. So you could record the filter opening to match any sort of opening sections. And you can also have a freeze section of the loud open filter version as well. So you've got two layers of the Atmos, so you can obviously keep the continuity across the board. And that is it. That's all I needed to show you today. Just how to record a freeze reverb using any sort of reverb of your choice that offers freezing and then routing that to a group and recording that group onto an audio track. And like I said at the beginning, if you have any questions or anything else to add, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure everybody else will appreciate any extra information they can get their hands on for their own productions and improving their workflow. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.